Hello again, it's me, that guy with the YouTube channel. Today with a normal review, and today, since we have all this wintry stuff out, seeing as it is Christmas time, it's only fitting that we be re-reviewing, because the original review of this wasn't too good. Anyways, we are re-reviewing the Bandai 2000 Ultra Monster series. Woo! So seeing as I don't have the tag for this figure, sadly, we're just going to get straight into detail, which I'm just giving it one quick glance before we get in depth with it. As you can see, even though it is mostly hair, it is a very, very nice sculpt, and that is because this is a 2000 Ultra Monster series figures, and in my opinion, that was one of the best series for standard Ultra Monsters to date, really, and the ones that followed it were also rather nice. But as you can see, the detail, starting with his feet, they're kind of textured, which is interesting, and they're nice. They're a nice shade of brown. As you can see, the detail works around the copyright. It's not just leaving a flat space, which is something I love to see on figures. As you can see, the hair kind of going outward as it lays on the ground looks very nice. As you can see, there's the base color of the hair there. It's this kind of tan color. So it's not white, and the white is sprayed over, and then there's lighter white in areas like right there and around his beautiful, beautiful face. And there's brown highlights in places too, like under his hands, his knees, and again, around his beautiful, beautiful face. And looking at the hair, which is, I would say, about 90% of the figure, it is very nicely sculpted, very well done, very precise. It looks like hair even though it's just sculpted out of vinyl. Around here, his feet looks a little weird, but it looks it still looks just fine. You're not always going to be looking at that, but it's just a little weird that that's kind of there. But yeah, his hands are very nice. Mine's a little scuffed, but no matter. It's I still love the figure. And one of the main pot parts of the figure that I would say probably looks a little unsettling or off-putting really I should say is the seam around his neck it's obviously glue sealed in but around the front it's not too bad but it's still pretty obvious and around the back it does not look good at all and see a little tag hole there but yeah going to the head sculpt again his beautiful beautiful face looks very nicely sculpted there's even a little bit of brown paint inside of his nostrils his eyes are a somewhat off-white color and his teeth are very nice with his one big tooth in the middle. And some of the strands of hair around his face are highlighted in white. It would have been nice if they sculpted just like a couple strands hanging over his face. Like he often looks in the episode of Ultraman he appeared in. But I can understand why because it would look like that hanging over his face. And it wouldn't be too good. So detail on this figure while very simple is very nice. Turning to articulation, whoo, hang tight for this one because it's a real doozy. Really puts the, the new Figuarts Ultraman figures to shame. So, the arms can move at about the elbow, swivel obviously because it's a vinyl figure. This one uh, will go about there unless you force it, which will grind the sculpt, which obviously you don't want to do. And this one will maybe move about 180, or actually maybe less than, it moves about 90 degrees, his, uh, his right arm. Or actually, his left arm, sorry. And uh, yeah, I'm sure that you can break the glue seal on the head, but there's no chance in hell that'll actually move. So that's it for his articulation. If you need to take a moment to change your pants, because I know you just shit yourself because of how amazing that was, I'll give you a break. So now moving to sizing. Sadly, I do not yet have a figure of the original Ultraman, who he fought obviously in the original Ultraman, or of Ice Ron, who Wu 2 fought in Ultraman Ace. So, here's the closest thing I have to the original Ultraman, Ultraman Powered. This is the 2009 Ultra Hero series figure. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's not that accurate of a size. I'm going to just move the tree there. Uh, e even if you take into account Wu is mildly bent at the knees and hunching over just slightly, he would only be about that much bigger, which would be a better sizing than this, but yeah, as it stands, not that great of a sizing with standard vinyl Ultra Heroes. Obviously, the figure arts, being a smaller figure, would probably size better with this Wu. Next, here is Wu with some more articulated Ultra figures. 
Here is Wu with the second greatest Ultra Monster of all time, Miklos. Although, of course, for those of you who don't have Miklos, here he is with Miklos. Here is Wu with a Showa Godzilla. Here is Wu with King Caesar because uh, Dark Age Bio Goji references. Here is Wu with his followers, incomplete obviously. Here is Wu alongside the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1995 Rebirth version because it is a fairly common figure and the one figure everybody has or has had at one point, guaranteed, no doubt about it. So overall, I absolutely love this figure, and when I say that, there is a little bit of bias in that, because Wu is no doubt my absolute favorite Ultra Monster. Even without that bias of Wu being the greatest Ultra Monster of all time, and the best of all, it's still a very nice figure. There's a nice sculpt, really nice paint apps, or actually a really nice sculpt and nice paint apps. The only thing holding it back is articulation, which is understandable in sizing. So overall for a rating, I would give it a 10 out of 10 if I could, but it's not worth, the figure isn't worth that kind of rating. So it gets an 8.5 out of 10. Of The half point is me being biased, maybe even a whole point and a half is me being biased, but it's still a very, very nice figure, and if you can find it, Get it, but don't pay $50 that I see this figure sell for sometimes. $40 and under, I would say you're doing alright. If it's tagged, more power to you. I would like to get a tagged one one day and not sell this one. But yeah, overall, again, rating 8.5 out of 10. And as I always say, Shamama Jamo, it means I accidentally ate the whole thing. And Tappy, shut the fuck up.